The Duchess of Cambridge has partnered with tennis great Roger Federer to help vulnerable children. On behalf of the Labour Cup, the pair have announced a charitable collaboration in aid of two organisations of which the Duchess is patron, Action for Children and the Lawn Tennis Association LTA, whose charitable arm is the LTA Tennis Foundation. Next month's Labour Cup, which will take place at London's O2 Arena, will hold a practice day on September 22, the day before the team event is due to begin. All proceeds raised from tickets to the practice day will be split between the two charities. Prior to the practice day, the collaboration will also see the Labour Cup host a day of tennis in East London for children supported by Action for Children and Young People from the local area who are part of the LTA Serves programme. The day of tennis in East London will provide children aged 8 to 15 with a memorable and engaging tennis experience, and both the Duchess and Federer will be attending. Her Royal Highness is committed to supporting grassroots tennis and encouraging young people from all backgrounds to become involved in the sport, while the Labour Cup are keen to supporting initiatives such as these, making this partnership a perfect match. Federer, 41, is set to represent Team Europe at the Labour Cup once again alongside a formidable team. The Swiss maestro will be joined by Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray, along with two of the game's top young stars, Stefanos Tsitsipas and Kaspar Ruud. This is an extraordinary lineup, said Team Europe captain Bjorn Borg. Stefanos and Kaspar are leading next-generation players. They have both excelled in Labour Cup competition and I have no doubt they will value the opportunity to stand alongside the Big Four. It will be an extraordinary event in London. Greek star Tsitsipas, making his third Labour Cup appearance, expressed his pride to be a part of the team once more. Labour Cup is an event that I enjoy taking part in, said the 23-year-old. Since I get to team up with my fellow rivals and become part of Team Europe, playing against some of the best competitors that Team World has to offer. I'm more than proud to represent Team Europe. Rude, meanwhile, will be making his second appearance after making his debut in last year's competition. I am proud to be part of Team Europe's historic lineup, the 2022 French Open finalist said. It was an amazing experience competing in Boston, and I can't wait to have these incredible players as my teammates in London.